use Mega Plants, we'll need to activate the Procedural Vegetation Editor plugin. We also need to navigate to the project settings to enable Nanite Foliage. Now we just need to restart the editor for those changes to take effect. After navigating to the Quixel Mega Plants fab page, we can see that new Mega Plants have been added to the library. They are completely free, and we're targeting many more species to cover a multitude of biomes. Now we can simply click Add to Project and jump back into the editor. To show the changes you can do to a mega plant tree, I will be using the European beech as an example. It comes with four skeletons already set up and connected to an output. Quick tip, if you want to focus on a certain area in the viewport, you can disable autofocus viewport. In this menu, you can also enable a scale ref mannequin and enable a scale bar to see the dimensions of your tree. The first deformation node we will show is the Carve node. This can be used to shorten the length of the skeleton using different methods. The default is length from root, which will start reducing the longest branches available. The second method is from bottom, which as the name suggests, will shorten it starting at the trunk. Z position looks similar to length from root, but this works more like a clamp, carving any branches above a certain height. Radius will carve any branches that fall below the value you put in. It's important to note that these values are all relative to the difference between the smallest and largest value the skeleton has. The gravity node is another useful node which lets you add more weight to the tree. Increasing the angle correction will make sure that branches that are pointing directly up are less affected by gravity, while branches that are more horizontal remain as affected. Additionally, you can change the direction of gravity, making the tree bend in a certain direction. Increasing the angle correction here will reduce the amount the main trunk is affected by gravity. Instead of using gravity to add weight to your branches, you can also switch the mode to phototropism. This will bend the branches towards the light. Remove branches is slightly different from the carve node as this lets you remove complete branches and comes with a few new methods like light, age, and generation. The scale node is quite easy. This one just scales the tree. Lastly, the slope node changes the starting direction of the tree and automatically bends the tree upwards if the bend strength is set. Just to demonstrate some of the other nodes, I will add a carve node. The first node that would come after a deformation node is the mesh builder. This sets up the geometry of the tree and gives some basic control over the segments and divisions of the tree. Each tree comes with at least one profile of which you can tweak the scale and fall off. The Bone Reduction node can help reduce the amount of bones since we can export these trees as skeletal assemblies. After the Mesh Builder, you want to add a Foliage Palette node. This automatically gets set up with the branches that belong to the tree, but gives an option to override them with different branches. For example, leafless versions if you want to create a winter tree. Using the branches set up in the Foliage Palette node, the distributor will distribute them. If override distribution is disabled, the canopy will get the default distribution that came with the skeleton. Now let's say we want to go back to the Carve node to change a value, but would like to keep seeing the end result in the viewport. You can select the node that you'd like to preview and hit the shortcut Control l now you can go back to the Carve node and change its value while previewing the distribution. Let's enable Override Distribution again and change the scale to match the scale that we had before. Increasing the ethylene threshold will allow for branches to grow closer towards the root. The instant spacing will decrease or increase the distance between the branches. The axle angle will change the angle at which a branch spawns on a parent branch. To get your tree into a level, we place down an output node. 
Here you can give your tree a name and set the location where to export the tree to. Clicking the export button you can either batch export multiple output nodes or just export the output nodes you have selected. This export will set up the tree using Nanite assemblies and automatically enables Voxelize for shape preservation. Once exported, the tree is ready to be placed either by hand or scattered through PCGE.